here you see a single-sided choroid plexus cyst within the drone circle. Choroid plexuses are structures which are situated deep in the brain. They are responsible for the production of cerebrospinal fluid. Sometimes, as we see here, a cyst may be detected in them. If we detect such a cyst, a careful examination of the fetal brain structures, other fetal brain structures, and of the whole fetal body is indicated. If it's isolated, there is usually nothing to worry, but we uh, usually we usually make a fetal DNA at least if it's isolated. If there are associated abnormalities, then the risk of trisomy 18 especially may be high, so it's, it would be wiser not to make only a fetal DNA testing, but a complete karyotyping with amniocentesis. These cysts usually go away by themselves after the 25 to 20, after 25 to 26 weeks, so they are not detectable afterwards. The best time to detect them, if there are any, is the detailed ultrasound exam, which is done between 18 to, to 22 weeks. Sometimes a so-called spongy choroid may be mistaken for a choroid plexus cyst, which is I mean the spongy choroid, which is not a real cyst, but it looks like a cyst, but the, the margins of the spongy choroid are not so well demarcated as a, a, a true choroid, choroid plexus cyst. Here we are looking at the other structures of the fetal brain. This baby was complete was found to be completely normal after delivery.